Hey guys, this is Rob Keens with GoldSilverPros.com. It is Wednesday, January 12, 2022, and as promised last night on the live stream, uh, we do have the CPI numbers out, and I want to talk about them. The core government inflation index, the CPI, year over year is at 7%. That means prices were 7% higher in December of 2021 than they were of 2020. Previously, in November, year over year, they were 6.8%. So we do see the marching on of higher and higher inflation numbers. Each time we have a new higher print, we reach a new 40-year high. So the CPI has reached a new 40-year high two months in a row. What does this mean? It means we have persistent inflation. It's not going to go away. And the Fed is now starting to react to that in some of their statements. We've seen statements come out yesterday. I'm going to go over those statements here in a moment and basically what the different Fed members said. Essentially, prices are raging higher. They're not going to stop. We've been covering this for about a year since January of last year when we said we were going to have higher inflation because we're seeing higher commodities prices. And then we saw higher producer prices on the PPI index. And we saw last month lower purchasing manager expectations on the pmi meaning they're not expecting to have growth purchasers are not expecting to have growth and then we talked about uh, a couple of weeks ago we talked about the fourth quarter and the third quarter retail sales both e-commerce and brick and mortar inflation adjusted were flatlined quarter three and quarter four of last year over what they were in 2020. so we're not seeing consumer-led growth consumers are now maximizing their credit cards I think $40 billion additional credit card debt, uh, that report came out, that was twice uh, what people expected. So people are spending on their credit cards, they have no more cash, and we have persistent inflation. What this means is when people go to buy stuff at their grocery store or at the office supply store or wherever they're getting goods and supplies that they need for everyday life, they're going to pay more. And because their wages are not keeping up with inflation, because wage uh, rate growth is much lower. The last print we had was about 2.5% versus inflation now of 6.8 and 7% consecutive months. Their dollar is stretching less. So it means you're going to turn to their credit card more to make up the difference to maintain their current lifestyle. So it's not as though we're seeing people buy more stuff. That's why we saw sales in Q3 and Q4 inflation adjusted flatlined over a year. So even though the numbers are going up in terms of consumer purchases, it's not buying more stuff. It's not impacting the economy by having more production. Okay, that's why the purchasing manager index was not rosy and bright as well. So you put that complete picture together, inflation is destroying the consumer, which is 72% of the economy, and they're going to go deeper and deeper into debt as long as this rages on. Now, the Fed did have a couple of announcements yesterday or a couple of people speaking up from the Fed talking about Fed policy for this year. So we outlined last year essentially how the Fed wanted to raise interest rates to 0.9% from their 0.08% uh, by the end of 2022, and then they wanted to taper their bond purchases 30 billion a month until they reach zero at the end of March, and then potentially even scale back and reduce the amount of holdings they have on their balance sheet, which means actually sell instead of buy. Now it looks like they don't know what they want to do. Every time we hear from a Fed member, they change their story. In other words, they're reacting to the news. They have no control. This is the point I want to make. No matter what they say, it's constantly changing in this high inflation world. They're reacting. Every time the numbers come out, they're reacting. The Fed is completely reactive. They do not have control of that Titanic. They're trying to manage a sinking Titanic, ladies and gentlemen. But make no mistake, it is sinking. So Cleveland Fed President Loretta Mester speaks. And basically what she said was she expects three rate hikes, 0.25% each for this year. That would be almost in line with what the Fed said that they were going to do, what Powell said he was going to do in his last speech uh, last month. So she's kind of towing the line, yeah, we need interest rate hikes. Uh, Kansas City Fed President Esther George speaks and she said, you know what, we need to have balance sheet runoff. Not only do we need to taper our purchases, but we need to have a more aggressive balance sheet runoff. So now the Fed is talking about not only reducing their asset purchases, the central bank buying treasuries and things like that, mortgage-backed securities, that type of thing, but that they would actually run it off the balance sheet. Okay. 
And uh, Fed Powell says, we're going to have a soft landing from this. Everything's going to be OK. You know, that's all jawboning. He didn't say as much in his speech. But essentially, the Fed is moving the goalposts constantly, trying to deal with the situation. Uh, and essentially, what's happening here is we know the Fed doesn't have control. We know they're reactive. The only thing that you can do is prepare yourself. So I run a gold silver channel for the purposes of I saw this coming years ago. And I've been talking about it. I first wrote about it on Seeking Alpha and got syndicated across the internet. I wrote my book in 2009 called Drop Shadow. If you guys support us on Patreon, you can get a copy of that book. Or if you go to Amazon.com, you can look up Drop Shadow the Truth About the Economy and my last name, Keats, and you'll find that book if you want to read it. I wrote it in 2009, published it in 2010. Look at the book. And it will tell you all the things that I predicted that have come true. And basically, I said a lot of this stuff was going to happen about 10 to 12 years ago. And now we see it coming to fruition. To protect yourself, gold, silver is the best way to do it. Gold is, be is the best long-term savings you can have. Silver is more speculative. It is a precious metal. It is money, according to the Constitution. But also, it has the ability to really accelerate in price due to industrial demand. So silver is very unique. So those are, the, I think, the easiest way to protect your wealth going forward, especially in a high inflation environment. But there are other ways as well, certainly. A real estate, productive farmland, things like that can help you. We'll talk about uh, that more later on as we expand our coverage into a new channel, which I'll be announcing here pretty soon. Just to sum up, high inflation. Uh, I think actually the inflation should be higher because if you looked at producer price index, what the producers are paying to make goods for the raw materials they need to make their finished product, it was 9.2%. We only have consumers paying 7% increase uh, year over year, whereas last month the producers are paying 9.25. So either the uh, retailers are putting the products and goods out in society or not, or they're absorbing some of those price increases and not passing them along, or basically the government's lying about the CPI number. If you look at an alternative, I'm going to give you an alternative. Go to shadowstats.com. It's run by John Williams. He's a well-respected economist, been doing this for about three decades, or four decades maybe at this point. <laughs> he has an alternative measure, which has inflation well into the double digits. Personally, I think that's more realistic, in my opinion. Uh, but we're, gonna, we're just going to talk about the government numbers because I don't think they can cover it up anymore. So high inflation is here to stay. Consumers are putting that on their credit cards because they're buying less. Uh, they're spending more, but they're getting less for their money. You see the purchasing manager index. The purchasers are not ebullient or excited about what's coming forward. They're very negative in their, in their uh, outlook on the economy as measured by the PMI index. And the Fed keeps moving the goalposts because they don't know what to do. They're constantly reacting. That's the environment we're living in. Now's the time in which you want to start making your preparations for how you're going to deal, deal with a high uh, inflation environment and eventually will be a high interest rate environment as the Fed is going to be forced to raise interest rates. I don't think we're quite there yet, but we'll follow this as we go forward. This is breaking news. Wanted to bring this to you guys first and wanted to give you the, my analysis of it so that you know what's going on in the economy. And these breaking news segments are meant to be a blow by blow, the most important pieces of information that gets released to us economically each week. That way you can stay tuned to the channel, follow this and know everything that's relevant to you in terms of your gold and silver holdings and also the rest of your portfolio and dealing with this environment. Please do your own research and due diligence. But I appreciate you guys being here. Very special announcement down in the link. We have January 26th virtual conference, the 2022 medals kickoff. The speakers and companies are sent. We will also have a round table with some of your favorite guests. And then we will have a session, breakout session at the end called the meet and greet in which you can come meet us and talk directly to us. It's virtual. It costs you nothing to sign up for it. Uh, this is our fourth one. We've had great success with these, the Money Metal Summit Solutions 2021 and all the con virtual conferences that we've run. Uh, go to the link below, sign up for that, cost you nothing, and you can have access to us. It's 1 to 6 p.m. Central Time, January 26. With that, we're going to wrap up this breaking segment. Stay tuned Thursday night where I have James Anderson at SD Bullion on the channel and we talk gold, silver, Bitcoin, the economy, and lots of other stuff. We'd love to see you there. Until next time, this is Rob Keats with Gold Silver Pros.